today i'm going to be updating you guys on the revival of cities event here in infinity kingdom and we have 270 philosopher stones which is going to let us do 300 summons in the hall of immortals what's going on guys cheers now first I want to give you guys a quick update on the status of the revival of cities server if you guys haven't tried infinity kingdom yet by the way there's a link in the description below go ahead and give the game a try and create a character here in the revival of cities server not only is it a great server to get started in but also if we take a look at the map boys this map is quite different than the last time you saw it and as you can see green faction does hold the world heart we're going to talk about that here in a minute but the factions have split relatively fairly at this point and this is one of the best parts about this server obviously this server first came out when the game was launched in Japan and so a lot of the players here in the server are from Japan and one of the things that I love is that despite having some sort of language barrier for some of the players because again this it's an international server but there's a majority of Japanese players they were still able to sort of build a relatively balanced and harmonious server now is there still some drama of course there's still some drama okay you guys can check back on the previous videos of the revival of cities event and you'll see plenty of that but when blue originally took the world heart for the first time they decided that it would be best if we fairly distributed the territory across the three factions and being in a server where uh, you know balance is key I think that's a good starting point for a healthy server so again if you guys want to try join the server it's a good one to start with and there's plenty of really nice players here that you can spend your time with now if we take a look at some of the rankings here okay if we take a look at the alliance power you can see chn is number one 404 is number two and attack of max is number three attack of max was pretty much the dominant force in the uh in the blue kingdom and they pretty much all moved over to red you can see us coming in fourth with 32 million total power which is really insane the activity in infinity warriors has been just it's blown me away with how much you guys have been enjoying this server and i i really truly love that as you can see max is still number one when it comes to uh power here in the server i fell to uh 53 because we've just got some insane players here in the server it's actually incredible if we take a look at the world heart you can see that uh wick put some of these markers here when this opened uh the most recent time during the contention of relics and this was a close one uh, honestly it was close for green to come in first place and i have to admit i gotta give all the credit a hundred percent of the credit for the performance of iw and green to the r5s and r6 of our alliance and 404 and the other alliances huge shout out to wick gaming lord guys if you if you are watching this channel and you don't if you don't follow wick gaming okay i'm gonna have his link in the description below it's about time you check out his channel but anyway one of the unfortunate things about me is that uh i work like 18 hours on the weekend so any weekend events in infinity kingdom or in any other games that i'm playing I'm, i basically just don't get to play them which is really horrible timing but when i did check in periodically over the weekend uh green faction held pretty much four of these uh temples here and only one was held by blue for a majority of the time uh blue did take the world heart for a bit and then green came in and took it so yeah it was a really close contention of relics but green proved that this server is going to be dominant no matter who is in charge whether it's green blue red whoever it is and again that's really healthy for the future of the server especially with server versus server coming up in like maybe a month or two checking back in on the alliance currently we hold five territories uh i imagine we may take more in the future i'm not really sure i haven't been up to date with which territories are going to which alliance but i imagine because we still have some slots left uh, we in the future i can see iw staying a pretty uh relevant force here in this server if we take a look at the strongest true power here we can see some of these players are getting really really strong it looks like earth is the dominant march right now hippolyta really interesting choice there oh it looks like kun kun has some sort of mixed march here which is quite interesting we get a lot of high damage from Genghis Khan in the back row a lot of healing from Zenobia and then we get some tankiness and, and removal of debuffs that's a really interesting combination now one thing that I do want to note is that Peter the Great man this is 
this immortal is the reason that we're going to be opening up so many philosopher stones here in this video i've made some good progress on my lightning march you can see here that we've put a ton of skills on our dragon you can see that you know obviously this is still a bit weaker than our current army in earth and that's because all of my strong skills are on my earth march but if we take a closer look you'll see that i'm missing one skill on khan and two skills on peter the great how do i possibly have a genghis khan that is farther along than peter the great and the answer my friends is simple and that is because peter the great has one of the lowest drop chances when you're summoning in the hall of immortals he has the same drop rate as hippolyta as uh julius caesar he's actually even harder to get than gilgamesh and i feel like gilgamesh is a really top tier immortal in this game obviously he is you know he's a an early game free to play uh holy immortal but he's kind of splashable in any team in the back row and he just does damage back there so the fact that peter the great is so hard to summon here is is really unfortunate and on top of that if we go into the market look at this 0.03 percent chance of peter the great showing up here that's crazy now he is a little bit easier to get fragments of than let's say genghis khan but he's got the same chance of showing up as elizabeth uh, bathory so it's it's just it's wild that uh peter the great is just a harder immortal to get fragments of and that is one of the downsides of my current lightning march is that with him not being maxed out i i'm missing out on that skill slot you unlock the final skill slot for these immortals when they are finished right i don't have this and i know that i don't have this on khan either but khan is somebody that's going to be hard for me to get regardless whereas peter the great I can just try my luck we'll do a little bit of gambling here uh and we're gonna just we're gonna just summon a ton and we're gonna see if if maybe we can get just a little bit closer to finishing off peter now if we take a look um i do have 147 so i think in this video we're gonna at least get one more skill on him right but i think maxing him in this video it's gonna be quite hard okay it's gonna be quite hard so we're gonna do 300 immortal summons and we have uh what is it 50 market refreshes so 51 i should say so we're going to be doing that today and we're going to be trying to see how much peter we can get because i just want to be done with lightning i just want to focus all of my time and energy and effort into that march because i think it it's just a cool march okay it's high damage dealing and everybody else as you saw on the server is focusing on earth and lightning is going to be a nice counter to that now you might be saying on the that's a little bit insane okay you've gotten all these philosopher stones like what are you going to do if you don't max them out from this video well great news we're just going to break all these down into soul crystals so we can focus on some of our skills for our mortals so either way this is going to be a useful endeavor to max out the strength of our marches so let's go ahead and get started all right boys let's go ahead and do our first nine summon and we're gonna skip the animation and we've got five frederick now you guys know that i pretty much have abandoned the idea of a fire army even though i think if you're a free-to-play player you should be focusing on fire there's just so much true damage from the uh ooh, med b um so much true damage on that fire dragon and you can get so many um, powerful fire immortals for free we got five barca here i'm not a fan of the wind march but one thing i will say is that when you come in first place for contention of relics that is when you want to buy empress Wu. you want to get as many of her as you can because she is an absolute boss in the back row for your fire march and she's going to deal insane amounts of damage and again as long as you are you win the contention of relics you can get her for free which is awesome okay we're done with the tangent let's go back to summoning here in the hall of immortals and there it is dude we got 60 gilgamesh i think we can finish we can max out gilgamesh in this video which is actually insane so that's a really good one i'm happy to leave him maxed out i'm not gonna put him in an army right now but he's very very powerful happy to see that we are finished with him here we get nothing that we need we haven't even touched leonidas um on this account at all he's relatively useless for what we have and we get nothing here absolute junk let's keep going here we're gonna see and boom we get oh caesar's another one i've just ignored caesar this entire account i don't know he just is not something that i care too much about maybe that's not a great strategy we got sonata we got some yoshi all this stuff is not that useful and guys i've also 
been in the process of sort of dismantling my water uh water march because i'm just using that experience and um all that stuff for my for my lightning march because i'm just going to focus on those two i think uh, lightning and earth are going to be a nice combo for me so we get nothing in this guy here nothing in that rip and we get ashoka which is nice if you're you know a fire player ashoka is decent but you may want to replace him with uh you know possibly gilgamesh or somebody else i know ashoka is like he's okay in fire marches but he's not the best in the back row that you could do even if you're free to play he's probably not the best but regardless we get a full summon of julius caesar now we're getting a lot of caesar here and caesar let me remind you has the same drop rate as peter the great and yet we haven't seen a single peter the great at all no matter how many summons we do we're getting gilgamesh we're getting all this stuff we're not getting any we haven't seen a single peter the great it's almost like the game just hates me the game just hates me this is the first i think it's the first time richard has shown up in this video uh and we maxed out richard but we're just like not getting any lightning support what is this and this is this is one of the things when you're considering uh buying your your philosopher stones okay know that this is a gamble you're gambling these okay so that's why i'm making this video because now you get to watch me do it and you don't have to waste your philosopher stones so let's keep going baby we haven't gotten pretty much anything exciting here um we're really looking for full summons of peter the great baby come on come on infinity kingdom gods please 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 give me that peter the great the full summons uh, give me two of them give me two i'm gonna be i'm gonna be greedy i want two maybe even three okay let's go ahead and do another 10 summon here let's see what we get and okay that's a full summon but it's not it's not what we wanted uh, frederick isn't even uh, an immortal that i would use in a fire march either i know i think in a previous video i've talked about um the front row for your fire march i think hippolyta and william are just a better combination in the front row i've come to that conclusion frederick not really that interesting to me um obviously as a full summon we're gonna be able to get rid of those shards for soul crystals so it is what it is and boom we get nothing again oh my goodness it's the game the game hates me we get even more dude gilgamesh loves me today gilgamesh loves me today and we're, we're just getting none oh my god we're getting none of peter the great come on dude come on dude oh my god it hurts my soul we're running so low on these philosopher stones it hurts my soul dude we're not getting anything oh my god okay come on come on come on come on mm, nothing again nothing peter the great come on peter the great come on come on come on come on oh dude i i don't understand it's the same drop rate why can't you just give me the one that i want dude you can't just give me the one that i oh my okay well ugh, okay the infinity kingdom gods did me dirty today but we've done over 2100 summons think about that let me claim that 2200 2300 we've done over 2300 summons and there we get our first time seeing him in the video was with the free stones we collected at the end we got five peter the great there goes my chances i don't even think i'm gonna be able to to put a, a skill on him in the, at this point i thought i would get something man i thought maybe one full summon i mean we did 310 summons in this video and we got five fragments of peter the great dude oh my god dude oh okay okay we can finish gilgamesh so let's do that we're gonna pop off we're gonna pop off with gilgamesh and my boy is done my boy is done we love to see that can we do anything with william we cannot we've got a ton of caesar but again not really a fan of him not gonna really focus on that guy too much okay so let's go ahead and dismantle all of these fragments we don't need any of this garbage dude we don't need any of this look at that we're getting so many soul crystals and this is the thing like even though we didn't get as uh, like any peter the greats pretty much we got five right um we're still getting value out of these soul crystals 23k baby 23 14k i love to see that so let's go ahead um do I want to get rid of my Bellas yeah who cares who cares let's get rid of Belisarius we can officially unlock Gilgamesh we can start to get rid of him which is good news uh and that's pretty much it dude we're just gonna oh 18k I love to see it yo we're gonna be balling out of absolute control look at these soul crystals baby all right there we go we've got 6,600 more and let's go into the market 
and we're going to do those 51 uh sorry 54 refreshes and see what we can get so i'm really praying that ooh, we definitely want charles the great uh, i'm praying that we get a lot of peter the great here because we got ripped off we got ripped look at that a full summon of caesar the game wants me to use caesar it just does i don't know what's going on here but we got pretty much ripped off on peter the great from the summons uh and so i'm hoping that we can get a ton of him in the market refreshes and we're not seeing anything that i care about man we'll take we'll take the ramses just because why not you know there it is we'll take charles Ooh, we love to see charles we're getting real close to, to finishing him off which is nice um we would love to see some genghis khan in here uh which would be really nice elizabeth bathory there it is dude there it is okay let's get those ramses oh we got 10 baby we got khan that's the good stuff there okay and we'll take el cid we'll take el cid i mean hey at this rate we may be able to max out el cid before we max out freaking peter the great so who knows all right let's keep going here we're not seeing anything we really care about oh there he is baby there he is okay let's see more of him we want to see more of him okay infinity kingdom gods please don't do this to me do not do me dirty okay don't do me dirty oh we're not liking these we're not liking these okay we do like that we do like <laughs> we do like charles we love him okay well oh we're getting a lot of ramses today i don't even know i'm just buying him because i'm buying him he's kind of rare and i just feel like i should but other than that i don't really know if i'm going to use him too much um but what else do we got here oh we're getting nothing man we're getting nothing oh i almost bought gilga thinking i still needed him but we just finished him oh do we need okay we'll take that we'll take el cid can we put a skill on el cid we might not be able to we might be like 20 away mm, seven six five four three two one okay we'll take william i mean we'll take william just for in the future if we ever build a fire okay i'm gonna i'm gonna keep refreshing i, I boys i gotta do it i gotta do the gems i got i mean like what what am i gonna do i need peter the great i want to at least put one more skill on him man uh, it's like I, I'm, I feel like I'm getting gypped I'm getting ripped off like what is what is happening here okay we'll take we'll take Ramses we're running we're running kind of low on gems uh, I mean this is not a responsible use of gems absolutely not and I do not recommend you do this oh we finished Merlin as well that's right we don't need that Ooh, Hippolyta okay we'll take Ramses why is Ramses showing up there he is dude there he is okay hang on let me just take a look here because I'm a little bit confused okay Ramses and Peter the Great have the same probability and we've seen so many Ramses in fact we've seen we've seen more of uh, Charles the Great and and of Genghis Khan than we've seen of Peter the Great here like what gives why do the Infinity Kingdom gods hate me so much like come on dude come on there oh oh we, we want Khan we want Khan that's a good pull that's a good pull okay I'm just burning through look look at this why are we we're getting so many Khan and and none of Peter the Great like what is what is going on here I'm like I'm losing my mind okay we'll take we'll take William just in case we need him in the future we'll take more William but look William has I think the same probability as Peter the Great as well we're getting all of these immortals that are as rare as him and yet we don't get any Peter it's like the game knows it's like it can hear me it's like it can, okay we'll take that we'll take the con we love the con but like oh my gosh this is so bad I'm burning through so many gems I can't even I don't even know like I should just stop I should just cut my losses but like I need Peter the Great like dude oh my god my luck my luck the universe just does not love me the universe just hates me so much right now oh my god and this is guys by the way this is one of the reasons that if you know you're not going to use an immortal uh don't even summon them right don't even summon them because if you don't summon them then they don't show up here in the market so that's a little tip for you guys as you can see here you know the fewer immortals that could even possibly show up the higher the probability of the one that you want actually showing up right so that's good news um I guess we'll just keep buying these Ramses oh there we go oh my gosh yo we're three away from another skill on my boy we're three away I'm addicted come on baby come on what is with the Ramses today okay my best buddy over here all right we got a ton of Ramses where on earth is Peter the Great where is he dude what, what I mean like we'll take El Cid sure we'll take El Cid but Peter man come on just give me five more just give me five more Peter the Great five more come on dude come on we're burning through the gems dude I need it 
I need it. I'm five. We have, oh my God, only four more. Okay, come on. Come on, Peter. 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 Ah, dude, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I can't believe it. I can't believe 310 summons, like over a hundred market refreshes, right? And I'm three away. I only got like what? 20 fragments of him in this video something like that oh my god i spent so many gems dude so many gems and i didn't get them man but that's how probability works that's how gambling works okay sometimes you just don't get it okay that's life sometimes you just don't get it now let me go ahead and take a look uh look we could put a skill on el cid there we go we'll, there, we'll put a skill on el cid we'll do that that's fine our El Cid is at the same skill level as our freaking Peter the Great. And okay, oh my God, I, I can't. Um, we're also ten away from finishing Charles. Like it would have been, I would have been okay with with not getting Peter if we finished Charles. That would have been a good trade off. But even with Charles, we don't even finish him off. So the good news is we're close, and we've got a ton of fragments here for the Hall of Immortals. I'm actually gonna go ahead and upgrade Cleave oh that's the next one is dirty 72k man i can't do it i can't do that no way dude no way so all right i'm gonna i'm gonna upgrade garot to seven and i think chaotic blade to seven as well um and then i'm gonna save the rest in case i come up with something else that i want to do with those soul crystals but anyway guys peter the great did me dirty in this video i really wanted more of him but it just it is what it is okay guys this is a reminder if you haven't started or tried infinity kingdom there's a link down below okay you already know where to find it go ahead and join the revival of cities server with me and some other content creators the game is free okay so just go ahead and give it a shot and of course if you made it to the end of this video i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other infinity kingdom players might see how horrible of luck i have and if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video comment down below how much good luck have you had with your philosopher stone summons uh do you think i got lucky here and i just didn't get peter or did I get kind of ripped off? I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.